Yes, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, you join me down here at Bridging Fishery. I've been invited down to come do a video. It was literally last minute. As you can see, I'm absolutely sweating. Rushed around to get my stuff round into the swim. Barrow went over halfway round. So yeah, that was great fun. But um, yeah, I've chosen this swim because all the swims down to the right of me are closed because the water levels dropped a fair bit, which is a big problem everywhere at the minute with the water levels. But um, I've chose this swim because obviously all the swims to my right are not being fished. So in my opinion, the fish are gonna be holding up there. They're feeling safe down there. And I'm in the closest swim to that. I'll just show you around. I haven't got any of the rods out. I've just found a couple of spots. Um, and then we'll get them out, but I'll show you around and show you where we are. So yeah, this is a swim I've chosen. Clearly because we've got pads here. We've also got pads here. And then we've got a nice open water, which I've found a a nice spot, sort of far, far out there. Spot off of here, and a spot off of these, these pads here. So, see what happens. I'll get the rods out, I'll catch you soon. Well, just before we do get the rods out, I was so unprepared, I didn't even prepare my bait. But um, I know this fishery, I used to fish it a lot. I know they know, love her a nutty bait in here. So I have gone with the OG fruit and nut Parker baits. I've got a little bit of OG fish left in the bucket, which I put back in the freezer from one of my last trips. But I'm gonna go with two kilos of this for now. And uh, just while we're here, I'm gonna give away two kilos of OG fruit and nut and the fish. So you get one of each, all you have to do is like, comment and subscribe to the channel and uh, we'll pick a winner. Just comment down below, Parker Bates, and uh, we'll put them into a random name generator, whoever comes out, they'll be posted to you anywhere in the UK. So uh, let's just get this bait, uh, bait prepared. And then we can get our rods out then. It smells absolutely lovely, the fruit and that. There we go, we've gone with two kilos of that, and then we've got the fruit and nut food sauce. This is really good, thick liquid, no additives in it. It is a food sauce, really good product. We'll put a healthy amount of that in there. Give it a nice stir up. And then, to top it off, we've got the Magic Dust, which is nut particles, hemp particles. I think there's 27 different food particles in this. It's absolutely amazing to coat your boilies. I'd advise doing this before, though, a couple of days before you go fishing. Obviously, for me, it was last minute. So I'm just gonna add some of that in there. Give that a mix up. your end result is something like that and hopefully the carp are gonna love it nom, 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 nom. right guys I'm just about to get the second rod out I put the first rod out just thought I'd show you the method I'm using simple simple method here tubing three ounce dumpy pair and a Ronnie rig and today we're going to be using the new fruit and nut 
by Parker Baits, Pop Ups. I know they have a nutty bait in here and they also like a white bait, but I've sprayed mine with the Parker Baits Fruit and Nut Spray as well to boost them. So I'm going to stick that on the screw and uh, we're going to get it out. I'm going to use the bait boat just because I had a problem with my angling techniques bait boat and uh, I sent it off to be fixed and uh, I've sent it back and I just want to see if it's all working so I won't show that, I'll get these rods out and I'll talk to you soon Right guys, I just thought I'd show you how to tie this rig as it's so versatile you only need a few components and you can use it as a pop-up rig, wafter rig whatever suits you you start with a Ronnie, Swiv a Ronnie Swivel your kicker your chosen hook, I like a wide gape a bait screw and a hook bead and then your chosen hook link which we'll get to and you start by just getting your your hook put your sleeve on here in your sleeve round and get that onto your Ronnie swivel pull it down right over so then that keeps that secure on there get your bait screw put that over and then get your hook bead pop that on there like so can be quite hard to get over the barb sometimes and I like mine just on the the bend of the shank like that and then you get your chosen hook link the skin link I find it's very versatile it fishes, it's subtle enough if you're in silt you know over gravel it's always gonna kick out and present it's, it's my go-to and I like my rigs to to be about seven eight inches so we'll cut off enough of what we need and simply I do a four or five turn grinner so that's round, round one, two, three, four. And we'll go back through the eye you originally made and make sure you wet it down with a bit of sliver. Pull it tight. It's helping the knot down. And then simply the other end just an overhand figure of eight through wet, wet that knot as well pull it down quite nice tight cut your tags And then you just add a bit of putty. Put it around the, uh, the knot you've made. I will pull this tight with some pullers as well. This is an example to show you. And there you go, you're away. You screw your, your pop up on there, or your wafter. And that is presented. You put that onto your quick change swivel on your leg clip and you're done. Simple as that. You can use it as a wafter, pop up, whatever you may choose. It always kicks back out 
subtle enough to fish almost over anything with this hook link. Yeah, and that's my go-to. I hope that helps you. Right, there we go guys, that's fish number one. I don't know how good the GoPro footage is gonna come out because I generally thought I'd lost it. I thought it got me done in the snags. Come completely out of the blue. So yeah, happy with that. I'll just show the other side. We'll get her back. There we go, there's the other side. And it's also the first fish for me has come to the OG fruit and nut pop-up on a white one. So over the moon, it was 18 pound on the nose. Lovely little mirror. Let's get her back. Happy days. What's that? Parker Bates? Nossa pig. Let's have a look at that. Cute cheese, I should definitely catch him a Nossa pig. 
Heat up. Well guys, I thought I'd just check in with you after that fish and let you know what's happening. Um, yesterday, as I said, when I come into this swim, the swim's down to my right closed and I thought being here would give me the, you know, the closest option to be where the fish are comfortable. I mean, there's a lot of fish down in them areas. I mean, there's four or five swims closed in a row. Um, so there's a lot of fish down there you know, that aren't being fished for. They've been closed for two weeks. Um, and I thought this would have been the best opportunity, but I got in here and I just, I just weren't feeling it from the minute I got in here, to tell you the truth. I got no liners. I didn't really see any indications. I saw one top out that was way beyond my boundary of fishing. Um, yeah, and I was thinking I was gonna move today. Um, and I got up this morning, I, went, I had a bream at about five o'clock. Um, and I decided to stay awake and the lake had changed. There was, there was fish all in my area. I could see fish jumping, I could see fish moving. Um, then we've had, we've had the mirror and I'm, st I'm still getting liners. So I think I'm gonna stay put because I was gonna move further up to the left of the lake because the bloke beside me, he's had three in the night. I was gonna go further up past him. Um, I think I'd be silly if I'd done that right now, knowing that there's fish here. But what I might do is change. I'm on uh, Parker Bates pop-ups. That's what's done me that fish. I might just change over to the wafters, match the hatch, see if that makes a change, because I, I do feel I should be catching this. There's fish here. Um, for some reason, I'm not. I, mean, I don't know whether that's because the water level's dropped. I mean, on this lake, it's dropped about two and a half foot. I don't know whether that's something to do with it, I don't know. But it's just not fishing as it should. It's a bit hard at the minute. I mean, there's a lot of fish in here. But we'll, we'll do tonight. We'll, we'll see it out tomorrow morning. If nothing's happened, we'll do the last night further up the lake and see if we can't get one more. I'll see you all soon. guys I'm gonna redo the rods for the night I've got in here Parker baits pop up onto a simple lead clip system I think I'm gonna give them a bit of bait so I've logged in lightly baiting and it hasn't worked I spoke to somebody and they said they've been doing quite a lot of baiting and they had good success so we'll fill her up spot, see what happens. Nothing materialised last night other than an awful lot of rain. Absolutely hammered it down, which kept me up all night. The fish are still here. I'm getting liners. We'll see how the morning plans out. Currently getting some porridge on. Yeah, there's still fish jumping on the back of the spot still out of my boundary but it's a good sign hopefully I'm getting liners hopefully hopefully we can get another fish we'll see how it goes see if we'll have a move or not we'll have a coffee have some porridge 
and uh, hopefully next time I see you, that'll be with a carp. Well guys, can't believe it, lost the fish. Um, pretty wounded about that. And now there's no chance of moving because the spots or the swims I want to go to are now taken further up the lake. And obviously the swims to my right are close, so we've got no choice but to stay put in here. I'm hoping that was a new spot I changed while I got that run, so we'll put another one out there. See how it goes. If I have anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, I'm just about to have my dinner and then we'll get the rods done for the last night. I've got to leave early tomorrow, um, so see what we can do. Someone's just turned up beside me, so it's not looking likely. I'll show you what we've got for dinner here. This rice, sausage, bacon, egg, some Worcester sauce, some sweet chilli in there. Banging. So I'm going to tuck into this and keep looking out of the water, see if I see anything. And uh, yeah, and then we'll get the rods we done, ready for the last light. See you soon. Well guys, that's the rods done for the night. I'm now getting myself some sausage butties on the go, with some sweet chilli sauce. Hopefully we'll have something in the night. I'm sure if we do, I'll check in, let you know. If not, hopefully we get a morning bite. We'll see what happens. But uh, if nothing happens, as I said, we'll give it a move. Move somewhere else on the lake and see what we can do. Well guys, it's the last morning now. I haven't had nothing in the night. I had a few liners. The guy next door had a small one. Oh, it's been extremely hard fishing at the minute. Um, I'd, I think it's something to do with the water levels. It has dropped two and a half, three foot. Um, I hope I can get another one. If not, I've got a, well, we've caught one. Um, just want to say thanks to Carl for inviting me down as this is a members lake now, it used to be a day ticket um, I turned it into a members lake and he invited me down as a guest to come do a video um, so thank you for that and yeah it's definitely a place that's worth getting a ticket on if you're thinking about it um, I mean I've fished here for years, the stack is stacks of fish in here lots lots of 20 pounders it done i think it done four five thirties since they turned the syndicate which i think was a good idea because there was a lot of oh it's at a beep then yeah a lot a lot of less pressure which i think caused them bigger fish to come out um, so yeah, I do think that helped. <clears throat> so it's definitely somewhere worth getting a ticket. It's a good place to learn as well. There's loads of features to fish to. I mean, you've got uh, lilies, gravel bars, little carp holes you can find. I mean, over at the far, far side, there's a birch tree. There's a massive like hole. Definitely a place where the carp go and feed or rub whatever they're doing just it's a good place to learn features to be perfectly honest and you got you got pub on site that does food um toilets so yes yeah, all around good place really to be honest but yeah as for me hopefully we can get another another carb i have got to leave early but as i said um 
I did put something on my Facebook page, on the Nitro Carb Facebook page. Um, I've got a lot of stuff going on at the moment with tests um, and all things like that that I need to focus on, I need to get done. So that is sort of my main priority at the minute. I will, when I can, get some fishing in and try to get some decent videos done. But until I've done these tests, um, you know, that's when we'll start doing the fishing properly. But yeah, head over to the Nitro Carp Facebook page and give us a follow because the free giveaway that we're doing on the channel, I will put on there the video who's won. So you can message me through there with your address and stuff so I can send that over to you. Um, that's obviously two kilos of bait, one OG fish, one OG fruit and that. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and comment down below, Parker Baits. And yeah, I'm going to slowly start packing up now. And um, we have got till, I think it's early, I think it's about half seven now, but I'm going to start getting all the stuff inside the bivvy, cleaned away. Um, yeah, and hopefully I'll see you with another carp. If not, you'll see me saying bye-bye, we didn't have another one. <laughs> see you soon. Well, there we go, guys. That's my time done at the bridging fishery. It's been hard going. We managed one. Sorry I couldn't get any more for you, but I'm hoping to get out in about three weeks time. So until then, tight lines and be lucky. Mm -hmm.